Welcome into the studio. This is a pastel drawing I've just finished right at the end of January 2022 and I've released the first part of the videos on my Patreon art channel. So anybody that wants to see exactly how I did all of this, that's on there uh, right now. On this video, I'm going to concentrate on showing you exactly how I did the underlayer using just pan pastels because I know lots of you uh, want more information on pan pastels and they're so effective in speeding up the drawing process. So let's take a look at it and show you exactly how I did that underlayer. Now pan pastels work really well on subjects like this. Pan pastels are not completely opaque. Okay, so if you use pastel sticks, the soft pastels, they are very opaque, so you lose all of your, your lines underneath. So if you're doing something where you, you know, need to keep marks on there, um, perhaps leopard spots, you can go over those with some watered down a black gouache first. And that would keep those marks in position. But what I'm going to do here is as I'm putting the pastel, the pan pastel down, if I've got any areas that are going to be dark or things I need to keep in position, shadow areas to keep in position, I'll just use a black uh, pastel pencil as I did in the corner of the, the eye area then just to make sure I can still see those sections. Now with the pan pastel, as I said, this is not a complete beginner lesson. If you want to see me mix in pan pastels on the printer paper that I've got by the side of me, if you want to see a demonstration on that and exactly how I mix the colors together which are really very easily done just just on a piece of normal paper as I said I've got plenty of videos that show that but as you'll appreciate I can't get the reference photo and the drawing and a mixing area and the pans all on the screen at the same time and, and make it worth your while seeing it it'd be so small uh, it'd just be too confusing so what I'm doing is just taking a warm brown for some areas and then more of a, a blacky brown a muted brown um, for other areas and then you can see it got black down at the bottom of the chin and you see all those grasses I'm going to leave those out I don't think they add anything to the the image at all I think it's a better composition without that I'm going to blur all the grasses like they are at the top section and I think that'll give a more three-dimensional appearance and make the the bison look like it's forward in the artwork a lot more. Now the beauty with pan pastels is that we can can mix those colors in a very similar way to oil painting. Now here you can see I've got a dark area there and I'm just indicating where that's going to go because if I put the brown over everything I'm going to lose those guidelines that show me where we've got darker areas and lighter areas. And before you know it, you can lose the whole shape of an animal. And then you're guessing where things go, the positions of haze. And as you appreciate, you know, some of the haze here are quite thick and confusing in shape as well. And I'm going to simplify the shape of them, even on the top of the head where we see them go in all different directions. You'll see me simplify that later on when I'm adding the details on top of this pan pastel layer. I'm not going particularly dark yet. This is just the general color, the general browny color that I'm putting down. A lot of those darks will come from pastel pencils. That'll be kind of the texturizing that I'm saying about. You see how I'm put in some of these darks in already because I know the position just the major ones so yeah the, the darks will come really from texturizing with pencil or with my creta color pastel chalk that you'll see me use later on and that gives me my darkest darks my richest deepest darks and if you're going to buy that make sure as I've said on lots of videos it's Cretacolor Pastel Chalk Lead, okay? It's not a graphite or pencil type of lead, it's a chalk lead. 
and they look very very similar it has to say chalk on the box now the drawing took four and a half hours so as per usual so that you don't get really bored I'm going to be speeding up sections when I'm repeating the same technique as I'm doing now with the pan pastels that'll save us a bit of time and we can spend more time then on the details on top now do what I'm doing there taking a little bit of the paper put some color on it match it up to your reference photo don't just guess especially tonal value is what we're looking for the lights and the darks so in this part of the bridge of the nose we can see it's just a shade lighter and it's less vibrant as well so I've used that more of a blacky brown and then I put a touch of white in it just a tiny bit just to lighten it and then blend in it all together and in the end this under layer will give me kind of a, a fuzzy map so there won't be any details on there but it'll show the structure the form and that's where I can build the details on top I'm not thinking about details yet and I'm not overly concerned about being super super accurate this is just the first layer that I'm putting in and I'll put some background in soon as well as I've said in many of my videos when we've got a little bit of background in place especially if it's a contrasting type of background like this I can judge the colors and the tones much more easily then so we've gone a bit warmer a bit lighter around the eye section up here on the head that's going to be quite light as well and it's very small amount of pastel I'm putting down you can still see the marks through it through a lot of it okay so I'm putting very small amount down you only ever put the smallest amount you need because that will allow you to put more layers on top I'm using circular motions most of the time I'm not pressing hard I'm using the pan pastel soft tools you could use the finger type tool uh, the sponge any any of the applicators you want these ones you know they're really good for small drawings small paintings but they don't last long perhaps one or two uh, drawings this size and they'll be completely worn out both sides so don't expect them to last very long the sponges the finger size sponge applicators they last a lot lot longer okay so I'm just going to carry on now blocking in this very first stage I'm about halfway through that blocking in around here we've got some really deep shadows I'm using just the black the pan pastel black and it looks really dark but you'll see later on when I use the credit color black chalk just how much darker it goes so in relation to the other colors the pan pastel black looks dark but it's nowhere near as dark as a, a good 
black pastel pencil and a pastel pencil is nowhere near as dark as a um, very dark soft pastel stick or a Creta color stick or something like new pastel stick they're all much much darker again okay so a bit lighter under here where the light is catching everything it's going to catch a bit in there as well and then down here we need to go a bit darker you can see I'm using the applicator in the direction roughly that I'm seeing that fur is flowing and sitting on the bison The underpainting on the bison's done, that's good enough. I'm not worried about doing the horn. I can do that with pencils, it's a smaller area. And as I said, let's get some of this background in place. Just circular type of strokes going over the edge of the head. So you can see all those hairs on the forehead going to the top of the head. We can see the background through some of those so I need to go in to that level at least, even a little bit more. And then I can drag those more wispy hairs out over the background. So what I don't want to be doing is going right up to the edge of the bison's head all the way around and creating a hard edge. I want it all to be nice and soft and blurry. Okay, so see you're going just slightly over it. If I need to clean the applicator I can just give that a wipe on microfiber cloth that's the best way I found to to get that off and then I've gone a bit lighter again keeping it all soft blurry blended putting one color into the next you see I need to go a bit lighter here already because this is light and contrasting with the darks on the head it's making the head look like like it's coming forwards and the background like it's receding you see and we can just play with putting some colors into the background as well as long as I've got everything soft it'll still have that recession uh, look and feel to it it look like it's going backwards and it's in the distance up here as well it's more of an up and down line where we've obviously got lots of grasses in the background up here once again going just slightly over the edge not by much but enough so that I can pull those lighter uh, sorry stray haze out over the top when I need to right at the final stages Now very often I like to 
rub over the surface with my fingers and that just beds that pastel down into the pastel mat surface. You can see nothing's moving because pastel mat holds the pastel well but it's smooth enough and um, gentle enough on the fingers that you can do this and it takes off just a little bit but it's pushing that pastel into the surface. Just wanted to quickly mention my Patreon channel for those looking for even more in-depth art instruction. It's packed full of pastel videos, oil videos as well, and those videos are being added to new ones every single month. I have videos for the complete beginner that have never done pastels or oils before with just limited supplies. And I take you from the very first blocking in all the way through to the final detailed drawings and paintings. I've also got some really unusual subjects as well and in all of my videos I always take you through all the details. You see everything I do, how I create my work. But it's not just for beginners, it's also for novices and I also show the best artwork that I've ever done as well. And this particular elephant video spans six hours so you know you're going to see tons and tons of details, tips and techniques. And as mentioned, I've got lots of oil videos on there too, so there really is something for everybody and you get access to hundreds of hours worth of videos for just $4. Now over a thousand members strong, hope to see you there soon.